Hello everybody, I'd like to do a short video on a new coat I bought. This is a crate coat from the Swiss Army. It's made of wool and today I'm going to show you uh, the ins and the outs. So let's have a look. Okay, so let me put my bag down. So, let me tell you something about the Swiss Army uh, great coat. So it's not a trench coat, because that would be against uh, rain especially, but this is wool, um, and this is called a great coat. This is one from the Swiss Army. Um, it looks a lot like the one from the Finnish Army and the Swedish Army, and even the German Army have similar kind of coats from that uh, era. So from the 1940s to the early 70s or late 70s. Um, this one is from the early 40s and I especially like these models because they are different from the models from the later uh, periods. And one of the big differences is the strap at the back. So with this strap you can actually uh, tie it down a little bit and give the coat a little bit of a waistline instead of just hanging down which I think is, is more beautiful. It also has a feet tail, the tail that you can open up with buttons. The buttons are nicely uh, worked away within the fabric. So they are there. You can open this up. The buttons are there. You can see it I hope. The buttons are in the... and with a bit of uh, work you can get them out. But uh, it's cold today, it's 4 degrees Celsius so I'll leave it closed. Uh, let's get to the front. You have two pockets which are just straight. My hand can approximately go in. This is about the size of the pocket. Nothing fancy. You cannot close it beside the flap. So that is that. Uh, another difference with later models is the buttons. I hope you can see that. These are brass buttons and they have the Swiss Army uh, cross on there. Later models have plastic buttons, so I prefer these. They look a little bit better, I think. Um, let's look at the coat. Um, I'll open it up. So, if you open it up, it's just uh, a nice coat. I will talk about the inside later, uh, when we are inside, because it's warmer. Um, if you close it up like this, you can just use the buttons here. And it's a nice coat and you have some ventilation. You know, this stays open, it's nice and, and, and cool. But you can fold this in and then close it up all the way to the top, apparently. And then you really have a warm, closed coat. My fingers are a bit cold because this is the second take, so <laughs> they are getting a bit freezing, uh, frozen. All right, so now it's nice and closed up. But there's something more you can do, and I only discovered that um, uh, few months ago if you put up the, the collar of course this gives you nice protection and with a hat you can almost be completely closed but there is a little flap here on the inside and if you turn that over you can actually put that and close it up with a button here somewhere now that's a bit of a thing to do especially with cold fingers but for now I just leave it like this but then you're completely closed up and you don't even need a scarf or something yeah so that's on the inside which I think is a nice addition well it has nice beautiful uh, cuffs there at the end of the sleeves so they are very beautiful and what I also like about this one is that it doesn't have too many uh, symbols and insignias and, and stripes and military stuff on them although of course it is a military jacket uh, the wool maybe a close-up of the wool is interesting you can see that it is some sort of a filled material so it's like it's one closed up material and nice and good good and soft very soft it doesn't it doesn't uh, itch at all it is really comfortable yeah all right so this is the Swiss Army great coat and I think it's a beautiful winter coat. 
Okay, now let's go to the inside uh, and we do that inside. Okay, so uh, here it is. I put the, the coat on the ground actually for, for, the, <laughs> for convenience. So there's the, the hanger. And let's uh, zoom in, uh, start here at the left. So here you see the pocket on the inside, which is uh, made of cotton indeed. It's about the size of my hand, like I showed outside. And the liner so goes approximately halfway. So the, your chest is basically lined and the rest of the coat is just a uh, single layer. Um, here you can see the, the button system. Um, it's basically, the buttons are inside the, the fabric. So it's, it's really well, it's really well done actually. Um, it's nicely tucked away. And um, so you can open that up all the way to the lining here and then you have uh, an open uh, an open coat now let's go to the uh, other side you have some uh, some information there so here it ha it says 40 48 i think and this is 50 that is actually the size of the coat and 50 means um, armpit to armpit distance so uh, yeah, half halfway around your your upper body, and that is actually the size. And then they are a little bit bigger, so that you know they are meant as an overcoat. So they're they're relatively uh, big. So if I would wear this without a sweater or uh, something underneath, more or less, just a t-shirt for instance, it would be a little bit big. And then here you have three A, which I think is sort of like a military size. A number and here it's really hard to see but it says um, man I can't even read it myself I think oh sorry it's a it's a B with a logo it's a B with a logo on top and of course the inner pocket and the inner pocket again about the size of my hand and again cotton and it has nothing to close it up no zipper no button no nothing so it's just an open pocket <laughs> All right, so the one last thing I'd like to show you, and I don't really, no, well, not the last thing, the almost last thing. On the inside of the collar is actually a loop here, a steel loop, and here on the other side is a little hook. I hope you can see that. And basically you can just hook that up, and I think it's meant to keep your coat nice and straight when it's on the hanger. Um, so that is a nice, feature as well. Um, here's the button on the inside that I showed you and there is that little flappy thingy and you can open it at one button and then slide it over to the other side and then close it up. Maybe it's a, a different function but I think that is it. Alright so that's the coat on the inside so it's a nice smooth fabric it's not itchy at all and um, the one last thing then really that I wanted to show you was on the outside, I forgot to tell you that, but there is a loop on both sides, a uh, uh, belt loop. And that is a pretty high up belt loop, it's about your rib uh, height. So it's not on your waist, it's, it's higher up, it's almost at your armpit, as you can see how, how close that is. Um, and that means that it's probably meant for an outside belt. Um, your normal belt would probably carry water, ammunition and other pouches. So it makes sense that you have an extra belt on the outside that is higher up to carry extra gear, I, I assume. Um, but it's not effective as a belt if you were to wear it as a coat like I do uh, just for, for, for everyday use because the belt would be doing nothing. It would be around your, your waist, uh, around your ribs and that's kind of weird place for a belt. Alright, so that is um, something I just uh, forgot to tell you but... Um, there it is. All right, so it's a great uh, coat. I measured it actually uh, It is uh, One meter and 18 centimeter long So you got an idea it's size 50 um, And it's armpit to armpit. That is how that works All right, so that is my Swiss Army Great coat. I'll hang it up one final look and there it is. I think it's a great item and uh, it's pretty warm. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, the information helped you out. Uh, maybe you want to buy one of these great coats. 
Uh, they are very uh, warm and very, uh, very good quality, I think. Um, I will put some specs uh, at the end about prices and, and, and measurements, uh, just so uh, you know. And uh, um, well, thanks for watching and see you next time. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.